Make yourself at home, stranger. I'm okay with visitors on my ship, so long as you follow the rules. Nah, I'm always good to meet a fellow frontline soldier. That's what Vanguard means, right? Head of the class. That also means you're the one who gets shot at first, but no one ever said honor and valor didn't come with a catch. Don't make me pull out my pistol. That was a pretty good shot once upon a time. I need a cup of coffee to do this work. A cup of moonshine wouldn't hurt either.
you have a new set of orders for me today? Look at how far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried <laughs> mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Console parts, replacement wires that have burned out, some fixes to the intercom between the station and the lodge. Won't be going alone. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. Use the welder. My attention is on the station monitors. Want to tell? The computer over the there? Now that is some. Lend a hand? Just grab a wrench. Should be quick. You color the wrong wires. Station showing red. Bad. Nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. Oh, I should have checked the compatibility when we made the order. I can stay with you until we get all this fixed. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the sorts, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. Don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow, runs it like a palace of novelties. And he's got a new prize in his collection. Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need a crowbar <laughs> and bag for this one. 
He's got a reputation for seeing the golden things, but he's no lab coat. Thinking he knows it's unique, but not why. All the more reason to clutch tightly. Left the life of a jack of ones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Barrett with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. Catch a smile out there. I have something I need to discuss with you. We'll be... I'll assist Vladimir for now. You go on ahead and get that artifact. No now is the best time. I'll assist Vladimir for now. Talk with you you go on ahead and get that artifact. We'll be busy fixing up the eye for a while. I'll talk to you when... Gave up my room in the lodge so Andresia had a place to call her. Who let you on board? Thought Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Yeah? 
what kind of salvage work you do? Ship? Ground battlefield? Or do you just skulk the back alleys picking through trash? <coughs> Ugh, I hate running through a dead ship. Like sifting through a damn tomb. Nah, I like the quiet myself. Good time to reflect and concentrate. <laughs> You're all right, scavenger. Go on ahead. Trade it for some dusty hauling ore from the fringe. <laughs> Was glad when he left. It's all shakes and muttering. Petrov's got a whole little alien zoo in the back. He's asking for trouble with those things. But the locks on the cages are pretty high end. Thankfully. Strewn about all over. The good stuff's locked up in a vault for Petrov's own personal viewing pleasure. And before you ask, Petrov's the only one with the keys, so don't try bribing any of the crew. <laughs> you just waste your money. Fine. Just ignore me then. So now isn't the best time. I need to talk to you later. It's so now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later. I have to talk about the Starborn. Do you have a second? You do, right? Right? How could we not talk about it for the rest of our lives? It could be the dawn of a new era of humanity. Or it could be an elaborate prank or any number of mundane explanations. I didn't detect any localized time distortion, which isn't required for that hypothesis, but... Oh, yeah? Joking. I knew that. Jeez. We just need more data. There has to be a way to draw them out and figure out where they're coming from. Well, we definitely got off on the wrong foot, so that's going to be hard to explain. This could be a turning point for humanity, you know? <coughs> or it could be just the emergence of a powerful new faction, or some sort of elite military tech, or a gazillionaire with nothing else to do. All we know is that they wanted that artifact badly. Agreed. That is going to require more observations, more encounters with them. And who knows? Maybe we'll never see them again. junk, but at least he pays. Got work to do.
Yes? Pardon? You know, people say he's mad, but I like Petrov. Runs a good ship. A lot of the guards here are bounty hunters, smugglers, or salvagers from the fringes. A lot of shark smiles, you know? Enjoy your time on board the scow. You meet Vadek yet? The captain's right hand? I've never seen a man so exhausted. I wasn't aware we had the visitors. <coughs> Wadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. We have visitors. Excellent. Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. Oh, ho, ho. flattery, huh? My favorite pastime, huh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Petrov! It's me! Barrett? 
You dare show your face in my ship again? Hey, you still sore about that? Engines blow up all the time. Ha! You old son of a space flea. It's good to see you. Hey, uh, old pal. How <laughs> about a tour of the vault? Let me wallow in my jealousy one more time. Of course. Come with me. I know. Now isn't the best People time. look at me and say, Petro, your whole ship is a testament of splendor. Why do you need a special vault? Well, all I can say is that even the greatest collection <laughs> needs its own private viewing area. Plus, between you and me, there are thieves everywhere. So I spared no expense. Every door between me and my treasures is painful. But that is the price of security, huh? Eh? Que sera? Just a bit further. This ship and I have been through some adventures, I'll tell you. I once collected salvage from a demo celestial class while it was exploding. The crew was scraping scorch marks and bits of metal off the hull for weeks. And of course, there was the time I accidentally steered us into a UC Navy vessel after a particularly uproarious celebration of my latest acquisitions of fine art. But we were wedged perfectly between their two thrusters and were able to just kind of push them back into the star yard for repairs. itself. Ah, beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. <laughs> that holding it for the first time was like drowning in your own soul. Alas, I've held it several times and my soul is still breathing. Devoid of any such enlightenment. Why, yes, he did. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. This one is mine. And it's only fair to warn you. Hands off. I would hate to sour our new friendship by becoming the victim of piracy. Uh, we're not pirates, Petrov. We're explorers. Who might do a bit of piracy on the side as a hobby sometimes. I'm afraid not. I'm easy in all things. Except my collection. Then I suppose it's just a question whether my immeasurable love for my collection and my crew of hired cutthroats is enough to stop you. Go ahead. <coughs> Make a move for the artifact. Let's see what happens. Uh, would it help if I said we needed it for scientific research? I know now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later. Steal what is mine, and I will ensure that every security officer in Neon. the United Colonies... Neon, you think it would be peaceful with all those calm waters pirate. and beautiful sunsets. But I can't think of any town that's more stressful. And there you were. Neon does that to... It's designed to... Look, I know Neon, but you just... 
Oh, don't you. Science is a... What they are doing... Science doesn't exist. That's asinine. But at the bottom, it'll be used to dominate. <coughs> You're really that naive? I don't even know what to say. Maybe there's nothing. Anyway, not that I... So must... That's the problem. Anyway, just kidding. I know now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later. Well, if it isn't our own ranger. <laughs> I hope you're not taking the job permanently. If you say so. You came for what is mine. Let's see you try to take it. Wait! I surrender! I surrender! Don't kill me! You didn't leave us with a lot of options, buddy. Ah! I see it now. You're in love with the artifact. Just as I am. Oh, a cruel fate brings two people of the same kind together. Go then. Leave my ship with your heart's desire. But the United Colonies will know of your descent into petty piracy. C'est la guerre. I know now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later. Damn pirate, get what you came for and leave. We'll let you on board. Fine. Just ignore me then. <laughs> <laughs> 